Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the GQ Jedi. If you're not already subscribed to me, blast the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any valuable Star Wars content. Today I am back with an exciting video. We're going to review, open, and then review the Stan Solo Ubriquian 9000 Land Speeder. That's right, Stan Solo has done it again. He has crafted amazing mini rig vehicle, if you will, for the three and three quarter inch vintage Star Wars figures. An absolute beautiful, a gem of a piece, something that I've been looking forward to getting. And today I'm going to open that bad boy up and take a close look at that and share with you my thoughts on this soon to be treasured item that's going to go right in my collection and I cannot wait to display it. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, here we go. This is this little beautiful package that showed up at my doorstep. Exciting moment. Very excited to get into this bad boy. This thing arrived pretty quickly from the time I ordered it to the time that um, it arrived. It didn't take a year to get, unlike some other companies that I've ordered from in the past. Stan Solo always delivers. There's never a doubt in my mind that when I order something from these guys, Chris and John, John in the U.S., of course, Thank you, brother. He's the one that actually got this to me. Chris, the main man behind Stan Solo, doing doing God's work, picking up after, after where Kenner left off. You guys always make sure I get my products, my toys. I don't want to call them products. I'm going to call them toys because, let's face it, they are toys. Beautiful pieces. And um, I'm just excited as all hell. I mean, this is... Something that uh, Chris announced on online that he was going to be making this. This is something that Kenner never made. Something that everyone's going to want as soon as they see this bad boy. And it is something that I know I will cherish and always be jazzed about every single time I look at it. I know I saw the you know the pre-production photos. I've followed the the journey, so to speak, from inception to... Well, now here we are at the delivery, the moment of truth, the moment of, you know, the moment, shall we say. And I'm very excited. i am got that like kitty Christmas feeling inside where I'm about to open up my present and I couldn't be more stoked. So let's get into this beast. This thing is a lot, uh, a lot to, uh, uh, to get excited about. Um, it's not a giant toy, but it is a bigger toy than Stan Solo normally makes. Um, of course, next to the Bantha, the Bantha was a big piece. This is the, I guess, the second largest piece that um, Stan Solo's made next to the action figures themselves. And um, good God, guys, I am, I'm beside myself right now with excitement. I can't tell you how, I just, I'm so excited right now. I. <laughs> As soon as I saw this announced, I was like, ordering it. There's no question I'm going to order it. Let's let's not kid ourselves. I'm going to place my order as soon as it's possible. Um, it was a must. It was a must. I don't have all the Stan Solo toys. Um, some of the figures I don't have. I, you know, missed out on some of the figures. I was little, little, fell asleep behind the wheel, as my father would say. And um, this was one piece that I tracked from the beginning, and I was not about to fall asleep so to speak I ordered this bad boy as soon as I could so without further ado let's get into this this beautiful beautiful toy holy moly holy moly guys holy crap do you guys recognize what this is Ubriki 9000. Oh my gosh, man. This is awesome. This is so freaking cool. Oh my god, look at that. 9000 Z001 land speeder, fully detailed cockpit, fits most Star Wars figures. And of course, I got to bump the camera because I'm too excited. I told you guys, I warned you. Oh my gosh, this is amazing looking. This box is incredible. I mean, oh man. 
this this is what I'd want to open up as a kid you know I would love to have gotten this as a kid this is like what I would call a mini rig this is the modern day Kenner mini rig scale to fit most Star Wars figures I'll say this thing is beautiful like even if I were to never open this thing I would be stoked just because I know what's inside and the box art is just beautiful it just looks this is just like I said Stan Solo is following in Kenner's footsteps. Surely not Hasbro. Stan Solo. Stan Solo's the the true son of of Kenner, in my opinion. There is no better toy maker that emulates Kenner better than Stan Solo. Simply understands the vintage look and never disappoints. And oh man, I don't. Mm, this is the moment of triumph or the moment of truth where you see that little oh I don't is it ah I have to put a ding in the box just to open this beast oh sucks I hate this part I've never liked this part it's the only way to get the box open I'm trying to jostle and jiggle without ruining this box I've already put a dent in it All right, guys, I had to have a moment of silence. That's why I had to turn the camera off. I had to say a few choice words, trying to keep this PG, or at least PG-13. Like I said, it bums me out that I've already dinged up this box, even though the box is going to go closed and be on a shelf and no one's going to know the difference. But that makes me so upset. Ah, I try to keep all my toys and my boxes pristine when it's possible. Dang it. All right, here we go. Moving on. Oof just beautiful a dent right there guys that oh, i'm just ocd i'm ocd about my stuff um i know my brother's gonna watch this video and laugh because he knows me super ocd i don't like to uh you know i just like everything just so in my collection um oh my gosh look at this beautiful looking thing this guys this is a true work of art right here. This is a true work of art. Look at this thing. Wow. This is awesome looking. It's lightweight. It's not too heavy. I mean, it weighs nothing really. It's, you know, fits in your palm of your hand like a softball essentially. Um, just look at the detail. So cool, man. Chris, man, outdid yourself again. This is the uh, clasp for it because this is a clamshell style toy. And we shall give her the popper open here. Let's see here. Is this open? No. All right, let's, let's give her a little. This uh, has this bad boy open again. I'm just for <laughs> trying to keep it all like I'm sure somebody's already figured this out and like, dude, just open it. Somebody at home has already got one of these and has already opened it and watching this video now and go, what is the GQ Jedi doing? Just open the dang thing. I'm, I'm just like I'm a Nancy about it. I don't want to break anything. This is a, you know, it's a toy. It's a fragile, fragile piece. Um, I feel like this was supposed to open too, but it does not. Oh, it does. It does. There's a clasp there too. All right, guys. You just got to go for it. There we go. There we go. Whew. I know Stan Solo doesn't make toys that fall apart but again i'm the energy in my hands right now they're just like ah you know i i i, sh I could uh I, I don't know it wouldn't take much for me to break anything right now i got i got the force is flowing in my hands so to speak and i'm uh just uh, uh titillated with excitement and i i could see me just breaking this because i was too aggressive with it uh, you know so like I said I'm putting on the kid gloves you know I'm gonna keep these kid gloves on um, and uh, try not to uh, break this while I review it good god this thing is cool 
This is, uh, this is a dream right here. Before we get into the inside of this bad boy, just look at it. This thing is a modern day Kenner toy come to life. This is something, like I said, that Kenner never made. Um, but this is like a mini rig. This is a mini rig. And if you guys don't remember, this is the toy, or I should say the speeder that sat outside the most Isaac Cantina when Obi-Wan Kenobi, R2-D2, C-3PO, and Luke Skywalker walked into the most Isaac Cantina to find a pilot so they could get to Alderaan and that's when they met Han Solo and Chewbacca and this bad boy was sitting outside the cantina and only had about seven seconds of screen time but Stan Solo thought it was cool enough to make for a toy and you sir are correct this thing is awesome absolutely cool absolutely cool super detailed check out the detail this little decals on there i'm guessing that's for speed this is the viewport so you can see uh you know what it looks like outside as you're driving I don't know if you guys can see that look how awesome that is here's your little selector uh your little shifter man this is awesome so dang cool it's uh, a cockpit big enough for two two three and three quarter inch action figures can easily fit in here it has been manufactured with enough thought and care that there's enough space to easily put two guys in here the lid is going to close perfectly and there's ample headroom as it were for two figures to sit in here and man man this is super cool i'm not gonna lie out of all all the the toys um that are in my collection this is already one of my favorites this thing is just super cool i, I it just screams star wars it just screams star wars it's that you know one thing that was like set dressing essentially in the movie and here it is brought to life i'm holding it in my hand and it's everything i thought it would be this thing is awesome this thing is truly awesome just this cool little, like I said, I keep calling it a mini rig. This is essentially what this is. This is a little mini rig for one to two action figures to pilot, go joyriding around your your play area at home, your Tatooine setups. So that's where this is going to go in my collection. This is going to go in one of my Tatooine displays. Um, I love the viewports, little clear plastic viewports on each side. Super cool. I do believe this opens. I'm scared to open it, but I know it does open. There we go. Look at this. So you got your action figure. Your man can stand up in this thing and look out like, hey, dude, don't forget the loaf of bread, you know, whatever. Whatever, uh, you know, whatever uh, needs to happen, you know. A blaster fire could take place. A guy could pop out, pop a couple shots at an enemy and quickly close the lid it's almost got like a uh, submarine type of feel to it where it's got the the lid that clamps close and then you submerge uh, it's kind of what i'm thinking about this thing this does look like an aquatic piece this is obviously a land speeder but it, it just reminds me of a uh, like it could be for underwater possibly it could be imagination is everything as a child and um i still have a kid's imagination so I don't think I'm going to submerge this in water, guys. I don't care what I'm telling you in this video. This is only going to stay on my Tatooine desert scenes. Um, this is not going to be going anywhere near water. But I do appreciate the scope of the creativity and just the ingenuity going into this to make this, well, to bring this to me right now. I have this in my hand, something I never dreamed would be possible I never thought that something like this something small and off I want to see, you know like the mini rigs back in the day they were you know I think the slogan was um, you know off screen but not forgotten or something along those lines where it was something that you know they the idea was that you know it was part of the Star Wars universe but it was just off screen it was like you know it was camera right they just didn't pan over to it but you th you know you could believe that it was actually on set in the scene in the movie but you just didn't see it. This is the exception. It was actually in the movie. And 
it was like set dressing. It never got utilized. There was no, nothing else to it. Um, but now, now it's now it's here. Now it's in my hand. Now it's part of the collection. It's got a cool base to it. Nice and sturdy. Man, this thing's dope. I. Uh, it's not cheaply made either. I mean, it's it feels fragile. I know when I was being a little baby about it, trying to open it. I mean, I dinged up the box. I'm still crying about that in my head. Um, but um, but yeah, I just didn't want to break it. I mean, I like I said, I got to be fragile with it. I, I was like, I could just easily see me pushing too hard and breaking this. Not because it's cheaply made. It's not cheaply made, but just the excitement and the energy, like being a little kid. I mean. I'm sure some of you out there, I know I've broken a toy, putting it together and being impatient. You got to have some patience with things, especially uh, toys that are intricately uh, crafted like this. This is so cool. I can't wait to get my action figures in there and put this in my display. This is so dang cool. And the box, I mean, look at this bad boy. Not only do you get a beautiful toy, you got this gorgeous box. It's going to look great on a shelf wherever you display it. Just absolutely perfection. Ages four and up. Yeah, I'll say. Wow. Need to add a zero after that four for most of us. Um, geez, this is beautiful. This is just beautiful. Um, I, I, you guys, Chris. Knocked it out of the park, mate. Knocked it out of the park. Love the paint apps. It's true to color. It's true to what we saw in the movie. It has this nice cream color. It's not uh, It's not too yellowed. It's not too white. It's off-white. It's a cream color. Again, giving it that real-world feel, or look, I should say. Got a blue stripe going around this, the, uh, the center of it. Got the cool... Um, writing whatever this uh whatever this means i don't really know i'm not uh not too familiar with the uh Ubrikian language if maybe that's something from a Ubrikian language I, I don't even know but either way it's what we saw in the movie and that's good enough for me guys that's good enough for me this thing is dope this thing is absolutely just perfection in my hand absolutely amazing can't wait to put two figures in there and just mess around with this thing. Absolutely so stoked to have this in the collection right now. Stan Solo has done it again. Another amazing piece. I thought he outdid himself with the Bantha, something we all coveted and wanted, and he absolutely crushed it and made a beautiful Bantha for everyone. Have that in one of my displays. I never thought he would tackle another vehicle, anything that was ever gonna be bigger than a figure, and well, he has. And this is just exceptional. I'm gushing over this toy because I truly feel like this is something that Kenner would have maybe gotten around to and we would have all asked mom and dad to get it. Um, and this would have done, this, this particular item would have done well, just like the mini rigs for, for the simple fact that it would, if your parents didn't want to spend a bunch of money, they could get you a little vehicle like this and it would, you know, cost under, probably this would be like 10 bucks maybe at Toys R Us back in the day. And it would have been a justifiable purchase. You could have had a cool little, cool little vehicle for your guys for two figures, and didn't take up a lot of space and fits in the palm of your hand. I mean, this has got so many marketable selling points um, as a quote-unquote product, um, but as a toy, this thing is just—it's dope beyond belief. Um, I really do think love this thing this is awesome thank you thank you chris um for making this john i appreciate you for sending this my way john's in the states helping out uh helping out across the pond with chris's orders appreciate you guys thank you so much for making making this big kids day i mean like i said this was this is a little this is christmas right here this is christmas and it is december so I can officially say Christmas came early, guys. Christmas absolutely came early. Thank you so much. And let's go put this in a display. Let's, uh, it's kind of got a skull. I'm thinking of Jack, Jack Skeleton from The Nightmare Before Christmas. It kind of has this like skull look 
uh, with the two eye viewports there. Again, this is the childlike imagination that I have. I'm a Toys R Us kid, never gonna grow up. So I'm always, so always thinking some, always thinking things in my head, even if it's, uh, well, maybe it's best I don't say everything in my head, but some of these thoughts do slip out, like the, the Nightmare Before Christmas. It has nothing to do with Star Wars, but um, I'm just a babbling fool right now because yet again, I have an awesome toy in my hand. And uh, it's, like I said, it's Christmas come early. So let's, uh, let's go play with this a little bit more. Let's get some figures and let's, let's put it in one of my displays and show you what it looks like next to some true, actual Kenner vintage Star Wars toys. It's gonna be a blend, a seamless blend. This thing, I mean, look at the box. I already know what it's gonna look like, but actually seeing is believing and touching and feeling and putting the figures in there like you would when you open this if you got this back in the day that's that's where the proofs in the pudding that's when you see where there is no there's no line of separation it just blends that's the beauty of the stan solo line of toys is they all just blend in seamlessly with kenner good god man just awesome all right i'm gonna quit babbling i'm gonna go get this in one of my displays Let's check it out. Let's let's put it with some Kenner, shall we? This is the Kenner uh, most sizely cantina, the outside of the cantina, and um, let's stick let's stick Greedo in here. Let's see. Oof, he's got super stiff limbs. I've never actually bend him. Let's get rid of the gun. If he'll let me. Let's take this gun out. Let's get rid of that. Look at that. You guys can see Greedo's rolling. Plenty of room. So dang cool. Let's take let's take Ponda Baba Walrus Man. Let's stick him in here too. So you guys can see that. Look at that. These boys are cruising the town. Oh. Boom. There is a little clicking mechanism that seals this up, so you just got to push it down all the way. But look at that. Two action figures just cruising. Just cruising through Tatooine. Decided to get out and explore the town. Look at this. So awesome. This thing is a dream like I said it would be. So damn cool. I'm going to be honest, I'm probably going to display it with nobody in it and just put a bunch of guys next to it because that's what looks cool got a stormtrooper there's another Stan Solo gem S the snitch himself Garen Dan beautiful figure it comes with a com link and a vinyl cape I actually did a review on this guy um, you can find all my Stan Solo videos on um, on my channel I've done a few of them now every single piece I get whether it's a droid it's a Garadan it's a Bantha or in this case the brand new Ubrikian 9000 Landspeeder all absolute masterpieces in my opinion you guys are never gonna hear me say anything but the truth about any of the toys that I review and I'm never I don't think it's possible to have a bad review of a Stan Solo toy the guy just makes he understands what we as Star Wars fans and collectors want and he delivers every single time you probably didn't know but that's also a Stan Solo droid Stan Solo droid Stan Solo Stormtrooper that's right guys this is a Stan Solo Stan Trooper Sand Trooper Stormtrooper and you can always tell it's a Stan Solo figure because he stamps his figures with an SS on the back so nobody gets confused all you repo cops out there relax Relax. But this thing, absolutely 
perf it's just perfection this this little beauty right here um this was a pre-ordered item um i did order it some months ago i don't believe there's any in stock at the moment you can check the website i will leave a link in the description down below for you guys for um so you can check out to see if stan solo has any more of these available i think he may be out at the moment but check the website and you may get lucky keep checking back sometimes you know he'll do a batch of things and sometimes he'll do another batch once you know if there's enough interest it all depends i don't uh, interfere with uh you know the way chris does things i just allow the man to do his thing and if he wants to make another batch of some he makes another batch of something if he doesn't he doesn't it's a snooze you lose type of thing like my pop said don't you know don't fall asleep at the wheel you know it's it's an ex could be an exclusive it could be a limited time window where you can get it and then it's gone and then that's it which also makes it uber cool that it is an exclusive if it actually is an exclusive toy um, but anyway if it's possible I hope those of you that are watching this video can order one if you haven't already for all of those that have already ordered one and it's on its way be patient you're absolutely gonna love it when it arrives I promise you this thing is just gorgeous and Stan Solo has done it again guys he's done it again Chris thank you so much mate appreciate you delivering another quality toy to enhance my Tatooine setup this thing is I mean thank you <laughs> I don't know what else to say I mean guys I, I want to say this just one little last disclaimer about me when I start talking like an absolute idiot it's because that's when I'm at my most excited um i guess vibration if you want to call it that um when i see cease to make any sense and i'm babbling i'm tongue-tied i'm flubbering over words it's because i'm too excited i can't even like keep my train of thought together so bear with me um for all you new viewers that don't know you're like jesus this gq guy is a complete idiot well when i get new toys i act like an idiot because i feel like a little kid and i'm like Aah! so that's just my vibe i apologize but um like i said Christmas has come early, so that's why I'm acting like a complete eight-year-old right now. Um, can't even articulate thoughts, so I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed this review. I wanted to share this with you. This was something that I really wanted to get my hands on, and I wanted to give you guys a close look at it um, before the holidays. So thank you. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this review, this unboxing. If you did enjoy the video, please give the channel a thumbs up. Give that old like button a thumbs up to support. And if you've not already done so, blast the subscribe button and hit that little notifications bell so you don't miss any future Star Wars content. And remember, collect or collect not, there is no try.